Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. Today we'll be working on the spooky nail set that I made for myself. As you probably know, I use a Cricut to do all my nail decals and this is what I came up with this time. And so if you guys already see how I did these, please keep watching and let's get started. Here I'm on Cricut Design Space and I'm just going to go over to my stuff and select a previous nail set. I do this because I can just delete the design and then just keep the template and then work over it. I do want to use my French tip design so I'm going to go into a different design, probably this one that has them. And I'm just going to select them and hit copy. Once they're copied we can head over to our other project and then just hit paste. And just like that, what we copied from a previous project is now in our new project. Now going into my uploads, I did recently add this hard spider web um, and this was in a different design. But I want to include it in this design so I'm just going to add it to my canvas. And just like last time, I wanted the heart in the middle to be bigger. So I'm just going to be taking a different heart in my shapes and just slicing it out. Moving on to Google Images, here I'm typing stitch pattern. And it did show me a bunch of stitches. These are mostly for baseballs. Um, but I wanted something more Halloween-y, if you know what I mean. So I found this barbed wires and then all these images I downloaded over to my computer. And so once you have all your images saved, we're just going to head over to Cricut Design Space and upload them. Some images that I save already have the background removed, so when that happens, all we have to do is save it as a cut image. If you have an image like this, the background is not removed, and so all we have to do is just remove it. Here I'm just um, cropping it so I can just get the image, I don't need any of the writing. And over on your tolerance, I'm going to increase it a little bit higher to get cleaner lines. And we can see here all the white is removed and we can save as a cut image. Back in our canvas, once you have all the images that you want, we can start designing and just moving them around to see what we like. And I won't be using the scuds and fingers, so I'm just going to get rid of these. Cricut Design Space also has images you can use for free. Here I'm typing over ghost and selecting the free filter and just adding these two free ghosts to my canvas. And so I'm just going to keep designing these nails until I like the finished results and just let you guys watch. Here is my finished design and now we're going to move on to make it. I do like to make three copies of everything just to make sure I have extra decals in case I mess up. And I always like to rearrange my mats just to get the most out of my vinyl. I always use HTV rods or tech wrap for my nails and so in the materials I'm going to be selecting vinyl. Here I am done cutting and this is what my decals look like. I did cut this in black and also white designs. Here we have our nails ready and I will be using this color cube that I got from Amazon a while back. These are basically gel nail polishes and so I'll be using that light pink color as my background. 
and so here i'm just going to be doing two coats of the color make sure you cure between layers this brush that i'm using did also come with the color cube and as you can see i'm using very little product and just spreading it out make sure to cure with your uv lamp and we can move on to the rest of the nails Here I am working on the second coat and we can see how vibrant this color is. And so once you're done applying the second coat, make sure to cure and wipe with alcohol and now we are ready to apply our decals. These are applied like any nail stickers. They are sticky in the back so they are just going to stick right onto the nail. Cutting the ghost eyes was too small so I ended up cutting them with no eyes and I will be using black nail polish to just draw them on. You can also cut out little hearts with your Cricut, but here I decided to just draw them out. And so I'm just going to be drawing some hearts, kind of make it into a pattern. And so once you have your nail design done, we're going to seal it all in with the top coat. And moving on to the next nail for this one, we're going to do a French tip. And so I'll be placing my guide right on top of the nail. Make sure you press down and it's secure. And then I'll be doing two coats of this darker gel polish. Remove the guide before curing, but we can also take a brush and some alcohol and just clean up our lines a little bit better. And so now we're just going to continue the same steps of just adding all our decals to our nails. gel x nails but since these have darker backgrounds we can't use that and so to apply these we can use double-sided nail tape or some nail glue and i hope you guys give these nail decals a shot as you can see they're super easy to make and they look super cute on your fingernails and so i hope you guys enjoyed the video and found it helpful please remember to like comment subscribe and share and also head over to my instagram and my tiktok for a lot more pictures and videos of my work and thank you so much for watching